One thing we hold in common around the world now is that a giant industry exists to filter our lives, to make sure we only see and hear the things they want us to. But for many of us, there's watershed moments that make us realize this truth. And once faced with that reality, I knew I only had one thing to do, and that's to start a new show to unfilter our lives. And I'm going to tell you all about it in this week's episode of An In-Depth Look. There's a lot of really interesting things happening all around the world on a daily basis, and I'm sure 2012 will just continue that trend right forward. But let's be honest, the big media companies out there just don't seem to be bothered to tell you about any of it. In fact, so many things in our lives today are just distractions from real, true human issues. Important topics like the privatization of prisons, cannabis prohibition, digital censorship, government corruption, things that nobody is talking about. Well, we want to take those topics on, and we specifically want your input. In fact, we want your input so hard, we're custom formatting the show just to see if we can make that more possible. And I'd like to tell you a little bit about what we're doing. Now, don't worry. It's not all going to be doom and gloom. Of course, we're going to have offbeat topics as well. And, and actually, one of the things I hope to do is incorporate some of the original ideas I had for an in-depth look. I want to go really, really deep into some topics and really have a conversation around them. And that's why I want to work in live calls too. But, uh, you know, to accommodate that, I think you need a specific format and a specific production style. And I think we're building Unfilter in such a way that that will work. A special format? Yes, you heard correctly. I did say a special format. This is what we're going to do. Because of the nature of topics we'll be covering on this show, we're actually going to split it up into two parts. The first part will be earlier, first half of the week, and it'll cover headlines, important trends, and topics that we think you might want to sound off on. Think of it as a concentrated way to get your really important news that matters. Then, in the second half of the week, will be the big show. It'll be live, and we'll encourage your call-ins. And since you've already heard the concentrated, shorter version of the show, you'll have an idea of what we're talking about. The goal is here is to have open mics, open call lines during the big news topics of the show so you can call in and voice your opinion. We want to keep things genuine, and we also want to give people a chance to respond immediately, which I'm hoping will always spark interesting discussions on the show. Now, the two shows a week format, that's really a bit of a test, to be honest. I'm not totally married to it, but it seems like it could be a really cool way to make sure that we cover the topics you guys are the most interested in in the big show. The little show would be like all of the headlines and then whatever you guys sort of grab onto and really seem to find interested in, well, then that would tell us what should go into the main show. Plus, it's a good way to keep everybody informed and give you concentrated news if you don't have a lot of time to listen to a longer format show. So I think there's some benefit there. But we'll see in the long run. I'm going to be listening to your feedback and seeing what you guys think and see if you like it. The style of the show will be an important aspect. If you're familiar with SciBite, it's an audio show that includes a visually enhanced version that shows you all the topics and interesting bits that we're talking about. I'm going to take that approach with Unfilter and tweak it a little bit because I really believe the focus needs to be on the topics. Something that has is, is been with me ever since we even tried Lotso, the old gaming show on the network, is that these, some of these topics, the host shouldn't be the focus. My face shouldn't be what you're focusing on, it should be the content. Your, your mind is able to create imagery that is much more powerful than anything I can show you. So we will have a visually enhanced version that includes visuals of the things we talk about, the websites, the stories, all of those kinds of things. But it'll also be an excellent audio version, and my intention is to have one of our best sounding podcasts out there. So that'll be some of the key fundamentals of the show. But when are you going to get your hands on it? Jeez, I just told you about it. You're already asking me when you can get it? Well, the truth is when it's ready. Our primary focus right now is getting torqued out the door. But once torqued is launched, Unfilter is the next show out of the gate. I'm already working nearly every single day on it in some capacity, and I'm really excited to get it rolling. But it won't happen until it's ready. But I would say, expect it to be sometime soon. Probably the best way to find out when that shows out is to follow me on some of the social networks that you might lurk. You can get links to all of those over at bit.ly slash Jupiter Broadcasting. Also, you can find me on Twitter. I am twitter.com slash chrislas. 
I'm sure I'll announce it there as well as, of course, you could just visit jupiterbroadcasting.com. Something else for you to do while you're over at jupiterbroadcasting.com. If you would like to directly support continued development of these types of shows and the existing shows, I highly encourage you to go over to jupiterbroadcasting.com and scroll all the way down to the very bottom of the page where you will find links to Amazon US, UK, Audible, Newegg, thinkgeek.com, Best Buy, Mint.com, and my favorite, audible.com, as well as a Chrome extension. Now let me tell you about that. If you click one of those links before you shop at any one of those sites, a small portion of your entire shopping session will be attributed to Jupiter Broadcasting. It's all anonymous, but it's a nice way to help us out while you're getting yourself something. And that Chrome extension automatically tags those sites, or so anytime you visit them, a portion of the purchase goes to Jupiter Broadcasting. I sincerely thank all of you who do that. Everyone who buys things from office supplies to HD TVs, you truly help the network, and you are directly funding future development and continued development of the Jupiter Broadcasting Shows. All right, everyone. Well, that just about wraps up this week's episode of An In-Depth Look, and I'll see you right back here next Saturday.